it's Sam, and today I'm gonna do another episode of Veganized. Yeah, love it. That's where I take inspiration from a viral food video and veganize that recipe. I'm a strong believer that anything can be made vegan and taste just as good, if not better, than the original, and this is how I'm gonna prove it. Today, I'm gonna make the viral food trend of black ice cream. Whew, kinda cool. Really cool, literally cool. You know what I mean? It's ice cream. <laughs> now after watching Corinne from Threadbanger's video, she first attempted the lemon version of the ice cream and it failed miserably. And then she made a chocolate version, which apparently Rob loved. So I decided to leave it up to you guys. I put a poll on Instagram and let you vote for which ice cream you wanted me to make, lemon or chocolate, and you chose Chocolate! Obviously, because, I mean, chocolate ice cream every day, right? Now, I am a follower of the fuss-free vegan lifestyle, and so I can tell you that I didn't really want to invest in an ice cream maker, and I certainly didn't want to invest in a waffle cone maker. So instead, I'm gonna try my fuss-free version, hack up these recipes, and make them without any fancy cooking tools. So let's begin making black ice cream. <laughs> Now I do want to say that I didn't actually realize that someone had already made a veganized black ice cream recipe, but Supreme Banana definitely did. Luckily our recipes turned out differently, but you should definitely go check out her video too because it is hilarious. Okie dokie. So first off, the recipe calls for sweetened condensed milk. Now as far as I know, there are no store-bought brands of vegan sweetened condensed milk, at least not in my grocery store, that's for sure. So I'm gonna try making my own. First, I'm gonna add one can of full-fat coconut milk along with one third cup of white sugar. I'm gonna simmer that down for about 15 minutes until there's about half the amount of the liquid there, and then I'm gonna pop it in the freezer to cool. My sweetened condensed this mixture has cooled and it is definitely thickened, but it is not like quite as thick and sticky as regular sweetened condensed milk. But I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go for it anyways. So according to this recipe, I'm supposed to add the sweetened condensed milk. So I'm gonna add my vegan version. See, that's pretty sticky. It's just not as sticky. I guess I could have cooked it down a bit more. Oh my goodness, I got cocoa all over my hand. And this is the ingredient that makes ice cream black. Activated charcoal. Yeah, I know. Now we're burning food and then eating the burntness, I guess. So this is food grade activated charcoal. Although the recipes on here show you how to whiten your teeth with it or make a face mask with it. They don't actually tell you to eat it, but it does say food grade. So, hopefully, it's good. Come on. I mean, why? Why? Oh my god, all right. Okay. Wow. This stuff is so weirdly black, it's like you're looking into negative space. It's like it doesn't even exist. Weird. So I was looking around at the different recipes and they all seem to require about three tablespoons to a quarter cup of activated charcoal. So I'm gonna start with three tablespoons and uh, see how that goes. So black. Woo! I wonder, does it taste good? Like why are we eating this? Should I taste it? Nope. Tastes like, um, I think exactly what you think it would taste like. Just burnt nothingness, it has no flavor really. Just kind of gritty and burnt. Okay, moving on. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of fine salt. Come together right now, over me. Starting to come together. Whoa, look how black that is. Yeah. Smells chocolatey, that's promising. Yeah, all right. Let me taste this. Look how black that is! <laughs> I can definitely taste the grittiness of the charcoal. But that's weird. Now made like under my fingernail black. Black everywhere! 
I'm glad I'm wearing a black shirt. Now the recipe calls to make whipping cream and to fold the whipping cream into our black sugary chocolate mixture. So I chilled this can of premium full fat coconut milk in the fridge overnight. And now when you do that, all of the solids rise to the top, all the cream and the water separates and you are left with rich creamy coconut. So scoop all of the thickened coconut cream into my bowl. And this is kind of the opposite of making traditional whipped cream. Instead of taking a liquid and whipping it up, you're taking a solid and breaking it down. So there's a little bit of water left in there, and I'm just gonna leave that behind. If you wanna use that, you can always toss it in a smoothie or something like that. Now to make sure this whipped cream is black, I'm gonna add another tablespoon of activated charcoal right in here. This black is so weird, it has no shine, so it just looks like the end of the world in there. <laughs> okay, now just whip this up a little bit. So I think that's perfect. Gray whipping cream, just what everyone wants in their life. Now the recipe says to fold in about half of the whipping cream and then fold in the remaining half. Okay, so my mixture is pretty smooth now. Now I pour it into a pan for the freezer. Whoa, so black! <laughs> now pop this in the freezer until thick and creamy for about two hours. Okay, now that that is done, it's time to attempt waffle cones without a waffle cone maker. So first, I have five tablespoons of water to which I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of ground chia seeds or ground flax. Mix that together and you can see that it kind of forms a goo pretty instantly. That is our chia egg goo. Now to this I'm gonna add half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of melted vegan butter, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and of course we need to make them black. So let's whip out the activated charcoal. One tablespoon of the activated charcoal. Whisk this together. But it's quite thick, you can see. But it is black. Gross. Boogers. Black boogers. So I'll try one and see how it works and then maybe I'll adjust the recipe if needed. Because I don't have a waffle iron, I'm gonna hop over to the stove and just use a cast iron skillet and see if I can make a cone that way. We'll see. <laughs> and I'm gonna just try to basically spread out a thin layer and cook it and hopefully it becomes waffle coney. Um, I saw someone do this in another video, except the problem for me is of course their waffle cones were a lovely golden yellow color so you could see when they were done. These ones look burnt before you even start, so I have no idea how I'm going to know when it's cooked. This is just a bit of oil. Ew, it's so gross looking. A couple tablespoons of the batter. Just looks like I'm spreading gooey burntness. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is absurd. I don't know how to know when it's cooked though. Well, this is bizarre. I feel like nothing is happening. It just looks like goo still. Oh, it's smelling burnt. It's smelling burnt all of a sudden. Okay, smoking a bit. Definitely time to flip it. have no idea how I'm supposed to know because it looks the same as when I first put it down. Here we go. Ew! <laughs> Making food and being grossed out by it all at the same time. I mean, it does kind of smell like burnt ice cream cone. I think it's got kind of the right smell. And you're supposed to quickly form it into a cone. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Black cone. Stay in that shape. as it cools. Listen to that. Beautiful? No. Did it work? Kinda. I can't tell if it's burnt or not though. <laughs> I'm gonna take this batter and stir in a little bit more water and see if I can spread it a little bit thinner, a little bit more evenly next time. Couple tablespoons of black nightmare. It still looks like I just have a bunch of food burned onto the bottom of my skillet though. I'm not gonna tell you that this looks delicious because it certainly doesn't. I don't know, man. I don't know. Smoking a bit. I think that's maybe the sign that we gotta go with because I don't know what else to go on. Burning my hands, burning my hands. 
Oh, it's burning my hands all right. Okay, getting there. Is this one gonna crisp up? This one feels somehow less crispy than the last one. Mini black, doesn't look like a waffle coat at all. Waffle coat. Pop you in a glass, let you cool. I was gonna give up here, but then I thought, um, I have all this batter left. Why not try to make one really big waffle cone? So, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Heat on. Big old dollop. Use the spatula to spread. Okay, giant waffle cone is cooking! Let it cool a bit until it starts crisping up. If it will ever crisp up. Okay, okay, starting to cool. Starting to cool. Definitely getting crispy. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be a giant black, weird looking. Ice cream cone. Nice, look at that. Beautiful, okay, that is enough of the waffle cones. Even if these are not good, I'm not gonna bother doing it again. I'll just use a store-bought ice cream cone, which um, it's usually vegan anyways, even though they're not black, but you know, can't be too perfect. This is a black ice cream challenge, not a black waffle cone challenge. Okay, I'll see you when the ice cream has hardened and hopefully it's good. We'll see. Okay, first of all, Look how black that is! That's pretty insane! I poked it with a spoon over here to see if it was frozen enough. I think it's still a little bit soft, but I'm really impatient and want to try it. I'm just excited, so <laughs> I, I'm gonna taste it now. Now, this is the second cone I made, and it is a failure. It is, um, soft. Yes, yeah, so that's going in the green bin. No good! But the first cone I made and the second giant cone I made are both good and quite firm and I don't know if they taste good or not. So yeah, what do you think? Should we go big cone? We should probably go big cone. Skipping ice cream. What is this madness? Oh my god, that's so crazy looking. It looks like I'm scooping mud. Gonna need a lot of ice cream to fill that uh, cone. Okay, it's definitely a little soft in the middle of this ice cream, but, so maybe I should have been a little bit more patient because I can tell the edges are more frozen. I don't know. Patience is a virtue that I do not have. And there we go, black vegan ice cream in a black cone. Give this a taste. It's pretty good, actually. Oh my god. Do I have a crazy black mouth? <laughs> You can taste the coconut milk for sure. You can taste the cocoa, but then it's like a kind of extra dark taste. Um, and you can get a little bit of the grittiness of the charcoal, which I would have thought would have been gross. It's kind of good. And the cone even tastes good too. Weird. <laughs> the cone actually tastes really good. I thought it was gonna taste awful and it tastes actually like a waffle cone. It's a little bit chewy, not maybe quite as crisp as could be, um, but it's so hard to tell when cooking it, if it's done or not. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty good. Mmm, I'm actually really into it. Mm-hmm. I did not think I was gonna like this. There we go, we did it! Vegan black ice cream! Win, it's a win! We did it on the first go! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new fuss free vegan video every single Wednesday. And if you have an idea of what I should make veganized next, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your ideas. I'll see you next week. Bon appetit! <laughs>